simple ratio um, and also I'm going to cover a question about proportion to show you how that works as well now ratio as a topic is is in essence a level 6 topic but th this this really sort of basic level um, it could be considered to be level 4 so we've got some counters 12 in fact some 4 blue 2 red and 6 yellow now writing ratios in their simplest form um, blue counters to red counters so this ratio is all about writing thing, numbers um, basically what you can see um, so if we go from blue to red and we separate ratios with a colon it's a double dot okay so that's four to two the ratio of blue to red is four to two and in its simplest form that just means we cancel it down finding a number that goes to both four and two well if we half both those numbers we get two to one so the ratio of blue to red is in its simplest form two to one next we've got red counters to orange counters so red to orange now it's very important in ratio that we actually get the, the order correct so we must make sure we're doing the red first which is two and the orange one two three four five six and again we can half that to get a simplest form of one to three now it's not always the case that we can half things um, orange to blue counters orange to blue it will be in this case because these are all multiples of two um, orange is six blue is four and that cancels again we can halve it to get three to two and the last one red to not red Okay, now I'm going to represent that by not red so there's two red ones and there are ten not red and that cancels down we halve it to one to five just an example that won't, that won't work by halving um, if we have the ratio um, three to nine okay whatever that would be um, I can't half that we, well I could half it I get 1.5 to 4.5 but in its simplest form ratios must have whole numbers just like fractions in the simplest form must be ha must also have whole numbers so we're looking for the, the biggest number that goes into both 3 and 9 and the biggest number that goes into 3 and 9 is 3 and 3 goes into 3 once and 3 goes into 9 3 times ok now a proportion question 6 pencils cost 42p how much do 10 pencils cost now this sort of question always boils down to what does one thing cost or what is one thing worth one pencil costs where well, 6 costs 42 one's going to cost 42 divided by 6 which is 7 pence once you know how much one costs you can work out any number of pencils I can work out a thousand pencils or just times it by 7 but I'm asked to do 10 pencils and that's going to be 7p because that's one pencil times by 10 which is 70 pence so always when you're working out the cost of something from something you're given already work out what one thing costs and multiply it up.